Welcome back everyone to another Mars Anomalies video. We're looking at an artifact I featured a while ago. This is of that long narrow part. It looks almost like a narrow obelisk. Top of a fragment. It's very narrow and about 11 meters tall. Let's have a look at the source material and the anomaly and then the 3D illustration I put together of what I think it looks like. Lowell Crater Northern Rim. That's what the high-rise photograph is called. Acquired on the 6th of January 2008 at 24.9 centimeters per pixel. There's a look at the low res black and white and the rather strange terrain at the site. Located there to the western edge of Lowell at approximately 50 degrees 41 minutes south, 83 degrees 12 minutes west. There's the anomaly at actual size and if you take into account the elevation angle of the sun and the length of the shadow that object works out to be about 11 meters long or tall. Check that out folks. Let's have a close up look and uh, in the illustration I thought let me try a rectangular sort of monolithic shape but the angle and the shape of the shadow just didn't look right. So what I did was I made that sort of like a sundial type part with a sharper shadow more of a point and then it looks like this. Check this out folks and there it is top down as photographed by the MRO. So I've replicated the scale, the length of the shadows, etc. in the illustration as well. And there it is side on, but I speculate it might look like. As I say, when I used the slab like block, I didn't quite make the correct shadow. So what do you guys think? Could we be looking at a sundial pot with the rest covered in sand. There's an example of another one we find here on Earth. This is in Arizona and it's about 19 meters long. And then another interesting thing I noted was that the pot is facing west-east and not like a normal sundial north-south which makes me think there might be something behind the exploded planet theory of Mars being a moon of a larger planet which exploded and uh, sort of took a layer of Mars off on the western edge and then it tilted up 90 degrees. So are we looking at something here yeah, indicating that the planet actually did rotate 90 degrees and that north was actually over here and it rotated 90 degrees clockwise and uh, he has two reference papers i'll include the link to these in the description below so they're just going to the two dramatically different northern and southern hemispheres of mars looks like the northern hemisphere was blasted clean was there an ocean there or was this facing an exploded planet cleared off the surface when the planet exploded and then the planet rotated due to the momentum of the explosion Leon and colleagues have concluded that a large celestial object must have smashed into the Martian South Pole in the early history of the solar system. Just one of the highlights of this article. And then we're looking at a Cambridge University article as well. As I shall include the links to these in the description. To quote, perhaps as many as six former planets of our solar system have exploded over its 4.6 billion year history. In particular Mars is not an original planet, but a former moon of an exploded planet.
planet. So what do you guys think? Are we looking at a type of a monolith, obelisk or sundial part in this picture, guys? And if it's true that it rotated, do you think there's some validity in the exploded planet theory of Mars? As always, let's have a chat in the comments. I'd love to hear what you think of this illustration. And also, what do you think we're looking at? Take care, everybody. We'll see you in the next one real soon. Ciao for now.